Hello guys, uh, today we're going to go over how to basically broadcast live through uh, Virtual DJ. Um, it's a really cool feature um, that you have, you have an online Radio Pro account. Um, you basically can broadcast live to a lot of different markets um, through your online Radio Pro radio station using Virtual DJ. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Virtual DJ 7 and Virtual DJ 8. Alright, so let's see, let's go ahead, um, I have Virtual DJ 8 open already. Uh, what you do is you're going to open up Virtual DJ. Eight, uh, go up to this settings section. Um, but for virtual DJ eight, I believe you have a pro account to basically be able to do this. Uh, it's gonna probably put you here like that. Just wanna go down to the broad broadcast um, settings. You got a couple different options right here. Uh, you wanna click on radio server. All right, that's what's gonna connect you to our server. So you're basically broadcasting through your mobile app, um, through all your mobile apps, broadcasting through um, TuneIn.com and all the. Uh, other places we have you so um, what you want to do is this with the virtual DJ 8 for some reason uh, when you do shoutcast which is the source you're gonna go through the protocol it blocks out the login so what you want to do is do put it on icecast so, so you can put your login information in alright now I'm gonna show you what you want to do from here you want to go to your um, online radio pro login I mean online radio pro account click on quick links and give you all this information all right all the information you're gonna need to broadcast through virtual DJ is right here so what we're gonna do is gonna copy and paste our server host name and this is a free feature it's not something you got to pay for extra if you have an online radio pro account you already got this feature um, I'm gonna put it right here under server URL uh, I'm going to worry about this part um, your login is going to be your username when you log into your online radio pro account and then your password is going to be whatever your password is for your login same exact thing so whatever you use to log in when you log into your online radio pro account um, basically your login is going to be a username password is going to be a, the password when you go to um, when you log into your online radio pro.com account all right um, once you do this part right here you really can go ahead and change that back to shoutcast and you can see how it blocks out these two things that you don't need. Uh, we're going to need the port number. Server port number is going to be right here, 8078. So we're going to go and put that right here, 8078. You can call your session name, whatever. Um, say live. If you're a DJ, matter of fact, let's say um, DJ, uh, DJ Radio. Uh, you can put your name right here for session name. I'm gonna show you why that's important. Haha, <laughs> good marketing tactic, marketing marketing tool. Uh, session genre, whatever your your genre is, your hip hop, R&B, gospel, uh, reggae. Just put that in there. Uh, let's just put uh, hip hop in there. That's basically all you're gonna need. Um, once you get this part in here, back on your online radio pro account, you want to make sure your server is. Um, Make sure your server is stopped. If you're, if you're using your auto DJ, make sure you stop it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Go into here. Go into auto DJ. Make sure it's set to be permitted but disabled. All right. Make sure that's set to do that. Click update. All right. Once you got that, you should have two little X's right here. I'm going to go ahead and start the server. Once you start the server, one, I'm going to let you know, okay, server started. This right here is not going to show up yet until we actually go and start the uh, virtual DJ. So we're going to start the virtual DJ broadcast now. It's going to say starting broadcast, no current songs. So that's letting us know it's connected. Now let's put a song in here. Um, let's do this one. All right, now watch what's going to happen. I'm going to go here. Song's called Bill Gates, instrumental. So now. Got that going on. It's gonna take a few seconds for it to connect right here. I just took the overview just to see. See now playing Bill Gates on DJ Radio. Remember that part I said right here. Make sure you put the name of your um, whatever your name is of the DJ. That's what's gonna put out there as a signal as far as what's playing on your live mix. Alright, you can play right here. Right here. I can't do it now because uh, you probably can't. You probably can't use it more than you can. 
so that's basically how you'll do it. Um, once you do that, everything you do in your mix and your live mix is going to broadcast to your online radio pro um, dot com radio station. Um, like I said, broadcast to your mobile apps, all that. So let me show you real quick. Um, that was Virtual DJ eight. So let me show you how to do it on Virtual DJ seven. Uh, let me minimize all that. Um, Virtual DJ seven is a little bit different. Um, you're going to go to a different place. Uh, Virtual DJ seven set up like this. You're going to go to record. You got all these options to record. You want to go to broadcast. Uh, once you go to broadcast, click config. All right, it looks a little bit different. Same information you're gonna put in though. You got two options, um, three actually. You want to make sure you you broadcast an MPEG. That's for Shoutcast, I Icecast 2, That's the protocol you're using. Um, unless you have an Icecast account with um, Online Radio Pro, um, you'll use Shoutcast. Shoutcast is the default. The way they set it up, usually Shoutcast default. Um, set your bit rate. Um, usually your bit rate is gonna be about 128. Uh, two options you want to broadcast from your computer nope you want to broadcast to a radio server all right now this information is a little bit you know like I said, it's the same it looks a little bit different so you're gonna go to back here again you're gonna go back down here live source connections tells us what server type we have the shoutcast type server we're gonna copy our server name I mean to find out what port our port name is right here, server port 8078. All right, now this right here, our name and password is going to be whatever our um, name and password was when we log into our online radio pro.com account. The difference is on this one, it doesn't give you an opportunity to um, select your session name. So you basically put your genre in, whatever you whatever you want your um, music to basically. Whatever you want when you do your mix, your radio station show up under under the uh, different platforms you're on. Um, just put it right there. All right, once you do that, you click OK. Once you click OK, click Start Recording. It'll say, oh, broadcast error. So let's go ahead and check and see, make sure our server started. And it's probably doing it because I'm still connected to the other one. So. Let's go ahead. Let me disconnect from this one. Stop broadcast. You only can have one of them at a time. Forgot about that. So let's go back here now. Let's try it again. Give it a few seconds for it to disconnect. Let's refresh this. It should show it's disconnected now. All right. Stop it. Start it back up again. Forgot that I had the other virtual DJ connected. All right, there you go. All right, we got. All right, cool. Let's go back and do it again. Start recording. Server connected. Waiting to start. Now it's saying it's waiting for me to start some music. So let's get some music going. All right, see that? And I'm playing big business with Swiss beats. Metal, right? So now we're gonna do. Go back to our account. Now right here, it's going to give my username as the uh, name of my radio station. So that's the default virtual um, virtual DJ 7. It doesn't give you the option to name the session like the um, virtual DJ 8 does. Alright, but that's basically how you do it. I mean, that in a nutshell is how you would basically broadcast live through virtual DJ. Um, if you're a DJ, this is a hot, hot thing to do when you're doing live mixes. Um, at different events, even when you're getting bookings, um, when you have your online radio pro, um, like you have your mobile apps and uh, Google Play, iTunes, and all that stuff, promote it, promote it, promote it, promote you'll be DJing live at you know whatever location, um, and then connect it to your online radio pro account so that way all your listeners around the world can actually hear your live mix. Um, it brings in everything your microphone, if you got a microphone hooked up to your mixer, um, it brings all that into your um, your radio station. So it's like it's 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 like I mean it's basically you can do a remote, you can broadcast live from anywhere. Um, really good way to build your listeners. Also, if you let your listeners know in the location you are that you are broadcasting through your mobile app, through your radio station, you know, tune in and all that stuff, they can download it and listen to it right from there. Give them on-air shout-outs. It really makes your brand look really big. All right. So again, that's how you basically broadcast live with Virtual DJ um, through your online radio pro uh, dot com account. All right. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up. We'll leave the contact information in the description below. And also, if you are a DJ looking to, um, you know, start broadcasting live, we'll put a link in there also. We can sign up for your online radio pro account. I think they start off as well, like $29 a month. All right. Look forward to talking to you guys again. See you later.